What's going on, soft washers? <clears throat> just want to show you guys something. Excuse me if you're a little under the weather today. And it's raining, so the uh, lens looks a little foggy. But we just finished this roof wash here. I just want to take a second and show you guys a quick little rinse uh, addition I put on here. And it has been saving me uh, a lot of time with washing as well as, you know, time on the pumps. They're lasting a lot longer. So normally what I was doing beforehand, before I put this little uh, this little rinse addition in here, was after uh, after a wash job or at the end of the day, I would turn off the chem, turn off the soap if we were doing a roof wash, and I would just have my water open. And then I would, obviously the pump would be powered on, and I would flow through the nozzle, and this, just having the water on would flush from this line into the pump, I would run that for a few minutes or you know a few seconds and make sure that uh, uh, before I headed to the next job that there was just water in here. So that was okay, but it was never really the greatest rinse. Um, and it also was slowing down my washing process because when I got to the next job, somewhere in the line was a few seconds of water uh, from rinsing out the pump. So you'd be washing a portion of a roof or maybe you're onto a house wash and you would notice that it, everything was clean, 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 and then dirty, and then clean, clean, clean. So you knew that at some point, uh, the water from rinsing out the pump had made itself onto the house and it didn't do any cleaning. Uh, so then you'd have to go back and, and it was just a little bit of a butt, a pain in the butt. So let me show you what we did here. There was a good spot to put this. So all I did was coming out of the pump here, at least on my setup, the fittings on yours might be a little different depending on what pump you're using. This is a half inch inner diameter tube. This was running uh, fully from here to here, all the way up to the reel. All I did was I cut that hose and I, I took a little section out of it. I used half inch uh, hose barbs with half inch thread on both sides. And then a half inch, as you can see here, a half inch ball valve. This thing was like a dollar or something like that from Home Depot. Twisted it on there, put some goo in there some thread goo tightened everything up so here's what we got now all right so here's what we got so after after the job is over all the chem and chlorine goes off i've got this little addition of tube here with an extra fitting that goes into my pump all i got to do is bleed the line out so there's no pressure on the pump and then i then i this is closed right now because i've already cleaned it out but we'll open it up so this is how it would be if i was washing i'm going to close that off so the reel once i disconnect this the reel doesn't start to empty out there you go so now the reel is coming down or i'm sorry the reel can't empty out now now i can add my drain pump on there we'll go flick it on just the water's on and now i'm going to get a really nice we're gonna get a really nice rinse out of this pump without having to flush a lot of fresh water into my line. I had this idea, this idea I had I had put on here before this ball valve. What happens if you open up this ball valve, watch the end of that uh, fitting there. See, that's just, that's just coming out of the line. That's just pressure that was still built up in the line, so um if you don't have a ball valve to close that off the whole time that you're rinsing your pump you're just going to have your hose line leaking into the bed of your truck or your trailer or whatever you're doing so little ball valve was quick a couple bucks put that on there now i can keep the hose line from emptying out keep the hose line right where it was when i was finished with the job go ahead here and we'll just flush that again just so you can see just kind of pours out all that fresh water and then uh take that out And then I'm just gonna throw this back in there. I'm gonna keep the reel closed off so that Kim doesn't come down into my clean pump. And then when I get to the next job, all I gotta do is open up the line and go to work. Um, definitely, definitely uh, a nice addition. The pumps have been lasting a lot longer. I've always been good at rinsing them, but uh, it's never been this good. This is, this is the best rinsing that I've been able to do so far. Also, uh, Everflow pumps are great. Uh, I use them only because uh, everything's set up that way so i just continue to buy these pumps uh regardless of which brand pump you choose to use make sure you're getting the, the quick connect ones it makes everything so much easier if you're on a job and you got to switch them out it's just click click throw them in 
uh, and you're done. So hope that helps. Uh, see you guys later.